Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good, good. Excellent. What did you do today? I I did go to the supermarket. Good. I went. I went to the supermarket. Yes, I went to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. I bought several things. You bought several things. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, meat, uh, vegetable, fruit. Okay. Excellent. Good uh, morning. In the afternoon, I stay at home. Ah, okay. Okay. And Sylvia, what did you do today? Okay, no, Sylvia, no problem. All right, Medis, what did you do today? Hi, Um, yes, Mary's. Yeah. Um, what did you do okay, today, okay, okay. Mary? Mm -hmm. Oh, my be my dad is um my house is actual actually is um enfermo. My dad, my, my your dad is sick. Uh -huh, the dad is sick. Um, okay. COVID. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So sorry. Is the is um, is COVID is and uh, we can pass. Fin de semana pasado sería. Last then, weekend. Last weekend is um, uh, test COVID uh, positive. Mm, okay. Uh, it's not good, huh? Uh, no. Mm, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yes, yes. So I can pass por eso, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Salir más fuerte. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So today we are going to begin with the topic, how much and how many, okay? How much and how many? ¿Quién ha escuchado esas palabras antes? How much and how many? Okay, so if you see in the chat, how much is for money? Is money, money, money? How much? And how many is the number? One, two, three, for example. Okay, today we're going to learn how much and how many. When is correct to use one or the other? First, let's listen and read a conversation. Listen and read the conversation. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, first, 
let's look at the vocabulary. Okay. Let's look, where are they? Any questions in the vocabulary? Hold on. Repeat. Hold on. Car. Al final dice no es perfect. Say hold on. Hold on, hold on. Ah, per perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Hold on, hold on is eh, esperan. Okay. This is hold on. It's okay, hold on? Yes. Okay, good. Any other questions? Any other vocabulary? In fact. In fact. De hecho. Okay, thank In you. In fact. It's okay. Teacher. Yes. Um, uh, que street es calle. Correct. Okay. Okay. Let's listen to the conversation okay. again. Let's listen for the pronunciation. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages. But I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, so now what are we going to do? We are going to practice the conversation. Are there near one time Nick, one time Pam. And then I am Pam and my partner Nick. So we so. Nick and Pam and Pam and Nick. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Algo de pronunciación o significado de las palabras antes de empezar? In fact. In fact. De hecho. De hecho. Uh -huh. In fact. Aaron. Mm -hmm. uh, Around the corner, uh -huh. around the corner, okay. A la vuelta, a la vuelta de la esquina, okay. Around the corner. Y downtown, teacher. El centro, downtown. So here, downtown, el centro. Okay, let's practice with our partners. Okay, we está en el WhatsApp o aquí pueden ir at 3.6, 3.6, 3.6 or in the WhatsApp. Nadie, you okay?
in this session participants. Okay, you ready? Let's try and practice a little bit. Let's see. Uh, let's go with Ciro and Meris. With Ciro okay. and Meris. Yeah. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very common. Downtown is the most noise. Oh no, Dre, if any, I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? I love it. Fuck to um, there is an excellent Korea place used around the corner. What about parking? <laughs> well, there are money parking and garage are uh, uh, usually free uh, place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's um, pretty safe. Uh, how else that my car alert in the car you back later? Okay, it's I'll I'll call you back later. Call you back later. Mm -hmm. I'll. I'll. Good. And it's downtown. Okay, downtown. Correct. No. And let's see. Okay, let's try another one. Who's who's next? Uh, Erasmo. Erasmo, okay, Erasmo and your partner. Go, Erasmo. Ahí estamos. Okay, este, eh, yo iba con Sonia. Okay, okay. Vale, Sonia. Who do you like your new apartment? Uh, I love it. It's that 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 so it's very convenient. Downtown is very much noise. Uh, oh no, uh, there is any I love on the fifth floor. How, how many restaurants are these near you, please? I love, in fact, there. There is an excellent current place if you use around the corner. What about parking? Uh, where there are many parking garages, but usually fins applies on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's bad. Holds on dams make my car alarms. I anchor you. I car you back later. Okay. All right. Pretty good. Okay. Remember here it's convenient. 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 Okay. I live. I, I live, live on the fifth floor. Fifth. Floor. Floor. Each floor. Correct. Each floor. Good. Floor. Okay. So now we have the idea. We have how we are practicing the conversation. ¿Qué es lo que nos ayuda a mejorar la pronunciación? Escucharlo y repetirlo nuevamente. Escucharlo y tratar de imitar como lo están diciendo. Así es como vamos a ir mejorando. Okay. So now we're going to continue with the topic of questions for how much and how many. Here, let's watch the video for how much and how many. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers, how many and how much. Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. 
non-count nouns. Ok. Como pueden ver, la primera parte es todo contable. Counts nouns. Count nouns, ok. Usamos how many. O are there many, ok. La respuesta pueden ser iguales, ¿verdad? A lot, a little, much. Is. Lo único que cambia es qué palabra usamos. Si es are or is. Ahora, en inglés, ¿qué significa count nouns? En inglés, count noun significa que la palabra tiene el singular y plural. Es una palabra que tiene ambas cosas, singular y plural. No importa si se cuentan uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Importa si la palabra es singular y plural. Eso se llama count nouns. Para esas palabras vamos a usar how many. Aunque okay, vamos a usar el many para singular y plural. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Non count es para las palabras que no tienen singular y plural. Solo hay una forma de ver o de escribir las cosas. Por ejemplo, crime. No podemos decir crimes, solo crime. Entonces, para estas palabras vamos a utilizar how much o much. Y lo vamos a tratar como solo hay una forma de escribirlo. Vamos a usar el is. Is, 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 is. En la otra, como hay plural, vamos a usar are. R, R, R. Ok. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot. A few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, Both questions and answers are singular. Okay. ¿Qué significa todo esto? Much este? crime is... Este está muy claro, pero aquí, count noun quantifiers, non-count. Okay. Count nouns son las palabras que tienen singular y plural. Non-count son las que solo hay una forma de escribirlos. Como pueden ver, podemos usar a lot, a lot. Eh, any, any. None, none. Pero para count tenemos que usar many. Para non-count, much. Para count, a few. And para non-count, a little. Ok. Si pueden ver, todos son los mismos, menos esta palabra de aquí. A few, a little. Significa lo mismo, pero usamos diferente. A few, a little. Igual aquí. Many and much. Ok. Lo demás no importa. Puede usar any, none, or a lot en los dos. ¿Tienen idea qué significan todas estas expresiones? A lot, a little, much, any, none. Yes. A lot, a muchos. O demasiado. Muchos, correcto. Uh, a lot. Muchos. Uh -huh. Un poco, 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 exacto. No hay muchos. Uh -huh. Isn't much or aren't many, que no hay muchos, exacto. No hay muchos. Aren't any or isn't any, es que no hay ninguno. ninguno. No hay ninguno. Ninguno. Y none, para nada. No hay nada. Uh -huh, nada. It's okay. Okay. ok, entonces eso es la idea de esta, de cuál usamos, ok. Now, let's take a look here. With our partners, vamos a tener que decidir que vamos a usar much or many. Much or many, ok. ¿Cómo vamos a saber? Ah, bien fácil. 
Vamos a ver de acuerdo si es contable o no contable. Right? Count or non-count. Y en la segunda parte, aquí vamos a usar a few or a little. Igual, ya sabemos cuál va con contable, no contable. Y el último, isn't any or aren't any. Lo mismo. Depende si es contable o no. Ok. So, with our partners, tenemos tres formas que vamos a poner en práctica estos. The counts, non-count. El a lot, a few, many, todo eso. Ok. This is 3.9. So, 3.9, we're going to try with our partners and do again. You ready? Ready. Okay, yes. excellent. Santos, you okay? Hello, yes. Yes, I am okay. Okay, no.
Okay, guys, let's try it together. Number one, there is much, much noise. Okay, number two, there are many, many, many. Okay. Number three, there is much, much. 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 Okay, four, there is much. much. And number five, there are many. many. Okay, pretty good. What about here? There is a little. A little. A little. A little. A little. A little. Okay. There are a few. A few. A few. A few. A few. Number three, there are a few. A few. A few. A few. Okay. Four, there is. A little. A little. A little. A little. A little. Number five, there are a few. A few. A few. Okay. And here, part three. Isn't any or aren't any? Aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. There. Isn't any. Isn't any. Isn't, isn't, isn't any. Isn't, isn't, isn't any. Isn't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. Aren't any. Isn't any. Isn't any. Hey, excellent. 100%. Okay. Excellent job. Hay alguien que no le quedó claro cómo usamos much or many? Oh. Teacher. Yes. Eh, yo me confundo un poco con uno que es el, el little. El little ah. y, el, y el, 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 a few y el little. Perfecto. E igual que el much y el many. Es la misma cosa, solo que la palabra la vamos a cambiar. Te fijas que usamos much con is, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Sí, y te fijas que many lo usamos con? Are. Con are. Ahora fíjate, cuando usamos a few? A few lo usamos con? Yeah. Are. Con are. are, exacto. Y a little lo usamos con? Is. Con is. Así es, lo mismo. Mm. La misma regla, porque es lo mismo contable. Aquí que usamos much or many, que es aquí, a few or a little. Si es contable, o sea, tiene singular y plural, usamos a few. Si es algo que solo tiene una forma, usamos a little. It's okay? Little. It's okay. Entonces, It's okay. siempre que is a little, are a few. Okay. Hay alguien más que tiene el, que no le quedó claro a few and a little? Okay. Y aquí. Hay alguien que no le quedó claro isn't any, aren't any? Okay, excellent. Very good. Now let's listen. Let's do, sorry, some reading. Okay. Here we're going to read this. Okay. Let's try here. Lo voy a poner en el grupo también por si acaso ahí le sale más fácil algunos. And then we'll try together. Okay. Okay. Lo pueden ver? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent. Yes, teacher. The world in one yes. neighborhood. Yes. Excellent. Como pueden ver, tenemos tres secciones, right? Number one, hasta aquí. Number two, and number three. ¿Quién quiere ser el primer voluntario de leer? Me, teacher. Me. Okay, please. Please. Number one. Number, number one. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the seed crops are growing with India's women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes from a Romanian band. Is it India, China, Romania? No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood. Neighborhood in Queens, New York City. A story was once a uh, mostly Greek neighborhood, but but they are <clears throat> new re new resident new resident from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and uh, over the moving in. Continue. Continue. All over the United States. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. All right, no, no, that's fine. Thank you very much. Excellent, okay. So here we have some words. Let's look at the words. Tenemos sidewalks, para empezar, sidewalks. What are sidewalks? Sidewalks. Yeah. That's the sidewalk right here in the picture. In the picture. La cera, muy bien. That's the sidewalk. Okay. Sidewalks. Then we have crowded. What is crowded? Crowded. Crowded is lleno. Lleno. This is crowded with Indian women. Lleno con mujeres de India. Okay. Crowded. Okay. Then we have a Romanian band. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es a Romanian band? Una banda. Una banda de Romania, exacto. Una banda de Romania. Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Y qué significa neighborhood? Vecindario. Vecindario, exacto. Así se llama el vecindario. Astoria. This is that name, Astoria. Okay. Now, number two. Let's go to number two. Uy, ahí estamos con energía. <laughs> All right. ¿Quién quiere leer el número dos? Number two. Okay, Ciro. The new resident by my tradition. This tradition blend together to make a story truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the thing that they like. They want resident here in, here in Astoria. It isn't surprising that an Indian woman buy Mexican tortilla from a Korea grocery store. It's one of the things that made the neighborhood special. Okay. Good. It's okay, the vocabulary? That's it. That's it. That's it? That's yes. it? Yes. Any questions for the vocabulary? Okay. Let's... No, yes? So, so when the, I was, so, surprising? No. No. Surrounded? Um, yes. Ah, when people are when people are surrounded. Okay. Surrounded. Cuando las personas están eh, alrededor de diferentes culturas. Okay. Surrounded. Blend. Blended. Blend is blend together, se mezclan juntos. Blend. Blend together. Um, bring many tradition. Trying, bring. Bring. Trying. Bring many traditions.
Okay. Hey, All teacher, right. Yes. Tr truly multicultural. Truly. Truly. Truly is de verdad. Truly. Truly de verdad multicultural. Okay. Number three. Who would like to read number three? Me, teacher. This is hey, so that Astoria is become. And surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive store, many nice restaurant, and good fresh fruit and vegetable market. And Astoria is comfortable place to live. Apartments are being roomy. As one long time resident says, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Very good. Okay, good. Any vocabulary? Becoming teacher. Becoming. Becoming. Excellent. Astoria is. Se está convirtiendo, is becoming. Okay. Roomy. Roomy is a lot of space. The roomy is a lot of space. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. It's okay. Okay, perfect. Now with the partner, okay, we're going to check all the things that you can find in Astoria. So with your partner, read again and check. What can you find in Astoria? Okay. Okay.
Manessa, you okay? Okay, let's take a look. So what can we do? What can we find in Astoria? Can we find inexpensive stores? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can we find big apartments? Yes. yes. Okay, can we find good schools? No. 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 Okay, beautiful beaches? No. 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 Okay, great markets? Yes. yes, there are. Nice restaurants? Yes, yes. there are. Many different cultures? Yes. 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 Interesting old buildings? No. no. Good public transportation? Yes. yes. Okay. Hey, hey, excellent. These are the six correct things that we can find. Any questions? No. No? No. Okay. Now we're going to talk with our partners, okay? With our partners, vamos a practicar la pregunta, how much, how many, describiendo nuevo vecindario, our neighborhood. So le voy a preguntar a Jaime, Jaime, where do you live? Maris, where do you live? How many restaurants are in your neighborhood? How much? Uh, how many uh, supermarkets, how much crime, how many churches, la diferente cosas. También voy a poder usar is there y are there. ¿Se acuerdan? Is there? Okay. Yes. And are there? Exacto. Is there and are there era para hay. Is there para hay uno. Is there a pupusería. Hay una. O are there, voy a usar plural, are there pupuserías? Ok. It's ok. It's ok. We ask and answer about the neighborhood. Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice farmacia? Excellent. ¿Alguien se acuerda cómo se dice farmacia? Drugstore. 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 Very good. Se puede decir drugstore o se puede decir pharmacy okay. okay let's practice with our partners
Okay, we ready? Any volunteers? Sonia. Sonia and Luis. Okay. Okay, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Eh, Le pregunto ya Sonia o cómo. Como quieran, como lo hicieron en la práctica. Ah, ok. Eh, no sé si me escucha, Sonia. Where do you live, Sonia? Yes. Uh, I live in Ciudad Delgado. Excellent. Are there gyms in Ciudad Delgado? In Ciudad Delgado. Uh, no, there aren't. Are there supermarkets in front uh, of your house? Uh, no, there aren't. Um, are there uh, animals in your house? Uh, I not. Not that I didn't. Eh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's good. Is there, are there? Very good. Is there and are there? That's important. Excellent. Okay. Otro grupo. ¿Quién más quiere intentar? Sylvia and Walter. Okay. Sylvia and Walter. Hello, Sylvia. Where do you live? Hello, I live in Acautla. Okay. How, how many beach mm -hmm. near to your house, Sylvia? There are two beach near my house. Okay. Are there any restaurant near to your house? No, there are no any restaurants. Is there a school in front of your house? Come on. Is there a school in front of your house? Yes, there is. Okay. Thank okay. you, Silvia. Very good job. Excellent. Okay. Good. So we have the idea how to use is there and are there and how much and how many. Okay. We are going to pause and tomorrow we are going to practice using more. Is there, are there, how many, how much. Remember, the important is countable, uncountable. In English, no es si se cuenta o no, es como se escribe. Countable tiene singular y plural. Uncountable solo hay una forma. Okay? All okay. right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.